everyone welcome to another video lesson okay uh, this one uh, will cover how to find the volume of pyramids and cones so if you want to pause the video and copy uh, what I have here and then press continue or press play to continue uh, with the lesson all right so the formula to find the area of pyramids and cones is the same uh, so it's one-third the base times the height Okay, so uh, for this example here, uh, notice that we're given uh, the slant height, we're given that each side of the base is three units, and then we're also given that this side or this segment is half of the side, so that's going to be 1.5. Uh, so, so far, uh, we don't have this height, okay, uh, but we can find uh, B for now. So let's start by doing that. So B is going to be equal to, um, since this is a uh, rectangle or square, it's going to be the base times the height. So then this is 3 times 3. So the base is going to be equal to 9. So we have the base for now. Now, to find the height, uh, we are going to need to use Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so I'm going to pull this uh, right triangle inside of that pyramid. I'm going to draw it smaller. Okay, so we know this side is 1.5, and this is the slant height, so that's the hypotenuse, so 3.4, and this is what we don't know. Okay, remember I said for volume on one of the video lessons, I said. Uh, for surface area, you can use the slant height, but for volume, you have to use the interior height. So we don't have that in this problem. So we're going to use Pythagorean theorem to help us find it. So then uh, this is going to be h squared, that's this leg, plus 1.5 squared equals 3.4 squared. Uh, so h Squaring 1.5 squared is going to be equal to uh, 2.25. 2.25. And then 3.4 squared, uh, that one is equal to 11.56. Okay. And then since we're trying to solve for uh, the height squared, I'm going to subtract 2.25 from both sides. When I do that, the result is that h squared equals uh, 9.31. Okay? Um, so then, don't forget this is the square, so we take the inverse of the square, which is, we take the square root of uh, both sides of the equation. So then we find that h equals, and I'm going to leave it like this for now. 9, the square root of 9.31. So now we have the height and we have the base. So then I'm going to uh, substitute, I'm going to just write down the formula for now to find volume. So one third the base times the height. So then this equals one third uh, B is 9, okay, and H h is the square root of 9.31 and uh, when you enter this in a calculator this gives you that this is approximately 9.2 and I'm rounding up here okay 9.2 and it's going to be centimeters cubed all right so that's uh that's all for this example and again if you need to pause the video uh, to help you understand this uh, you, you you should I'm going to continue to the next problem okay on this problem uh, this is an oblique cone and an oblique cone oblique just means that it's slanted okay so if you want to pause the video again and copy uh, this problem, uh, you should uh, do that. 
So uh, this problem here is going to be a simple one, okay? Because I'm I'm just going to uh, substitute everything to the formula. So the volume is equal to one third the base times the height. But the base is a circle, and to find the area of a circle, we use pi r squared. So I'm just going to uh, write that down. So the volume equals one third uh, pi times the radius square times the height. So then since we are, we are given that the diameter is 6 inches, we know the radius is half of that. So 1 third pi times uh, 3 square. The height, this one we have an exterior height, okay? So times 5.5 .5 and uh, that's all for this. And uh, when you multiply just one third times three squared times 5.5, .5, uh, your calculator is going to give you 16.5 and then just uh, keep the pi next to it. So 16.5 pi inches cubed. Okay, and this is the volume of this oblique cone. Uh, again, if you need to uh, pause the video, study your notes, uh, you should. And don't forget, I'm just a text message away or an email away. Uh, I prefer a re uh, remind message because I'm checking those uh, constantly uh, so I can answer any questions you might have. All right. You guys have a great day. Take care. Until the next time.